It's a busy world and sometimes it's hard to make yourself heard. So how do we communicate with so much noise? Well, there's a number of things we could do. For example, we could increase the volume of our conversation. Lizards do something very similar. They have to advertise to territorial neighbours of their personal space. I'm here at a cafe, I want to go inside to get a cup of coffee, but to advertise to everybody that this is my table, I'm going to leave a personal item, my hat, while I go up and get a coffee. So it turns out on the island of Puerto Rico, the lizards do something very similar to what we do when we're competing with acoustic background noise. Now these animals are trying to compete with visual noise in the form of wind-blown vegetation, so distracting movement. And the way that lizards compete with that visual noise is they increase the speed of their territorial displays to remain conspicuous to territorial neighbours. It's exactly the same way as us increasing the volume of our conversation to be heard above acoustic background noise. Now it turns out that the species on Jamaica do something completely different seems that they don't really care about the level of visual noise that's occurring in their environment. It turns out that a rapid extension of a dewlap, which is a colourful throat fan, is equally effective as exaggerating the display movements of the body. So how we started these lizards, these different strategies, was we used a robotic lizard, which is a mechanical model which we can program to perform virtually any display. So this is the robot. Um, on top of the uh, box is a latex model of, a, of an actual lizard. It's the same sort of stuff that you would make Halloween uh, masks out of. And we just put it on this, it's literally a, a plastic cookie jar. And inside we have basically a whole bunch of pistons and operating controllers and things like that. And this whole thing gets put onto a tripod and positioned behind a tree trunk so that from the perspective of the lizard it looks like it's another territorial lizard hanging out on his uh, tree. So we programmed the robot to perform this rapid dewlap extension, which the Jamaican lizards seem to rely on, and also the increased speed or the exaggerated movement of those push-ups. And we played those movements back to lizards out on their territories and found that both of those strategies are equally effective for communication in visually noisy environments. So you can think about it like this. So both groups of lizards are using the same language, but they're using different dialects.